Hey everyone, Ben here from Realmax Software. I'm just working on the App Santa website and I thought I'd record a quick video to show you some of the keyboard shortcuts I use to improve my workflow when I'm working with RapidWeaver and Stacks. Now the first one that I use a lot is Command, Alt and L. Now that hides the source list or the left hand sidebar inside of RapidWeaver. I use that a lot because when I'm working on a page I often don't need to switch pages or get to any settings so I often hide that just to give myself a little bit more space. Okay, now the next keyboard shortcut I use is to hide and show the stacks library. So rather than clicking on the library button here, you can just press L on your keyboard and that will hide and show the stacks library. Once I've got the library open and I need to find a stack, press the F key and that will focus the search box in the stacks library and then you can just start typing for the stack that you need. Okay, so I'll hide the library because I often have that closed. And then the next keyboard shortcut that I often use is once I have a stack selected, I can press the I button on the keyboard and that will bring up the stacks inspector. So this tab on the end of the page inspector. Now you might be thinking that you can toggle the page inspector open and close with this button here or with command shift I on your keyboard. However, if you don't have the stacks settings uh, tab selected here, so say you're on the first tab here and you open and close the page inspector, you won't be taken to the settings for that stack. So if I select the foundry stack here, you'll see that the stack settings for this isn't displayed. However, if I press the I button or the I key on my keyboard, I'll get the settings for this stack. Okay, the next keyboard shortcut that I often use is the hide uh, shortcut. So rather than pressing the button here to hide or collapse up the stack, you can just press Shift H on your keyboard and that will hide or show the stack on your page. Now I use this a lot as well because as you can see here, I often have large stacks with a lot of content in that scroll a long way down the page. So once I've finished working on a section of my page, I will select that stack and then press Shift H to hide it or collapse that stack on the page. Okay, next I often use the return key and that will select the first child stack inside of the one selected. So as you can see here, if I had the angle stack selected here, I press return, that will select the first child stack inside of there. If I hit return again, that will take me to the first stack inside of the container, which is columns. And then again, that will then select the first one, which is the image here. I can then use the up and down arrow keys to select the next or previous stack. If you want to go up a level, so if I have the image stack selected and I want the column stack selected, you can press shift return and that will take you to the parent stack. So shift return again and I get to container. And once again, I get to the angle stack. Now this is handy because it stops you from having to get your hand over to the mouse, go down and select each stack that you want like this. What you can just do is hit return a couple of times and you're into the stack and you've already got the settings uh, available here in the page inspector. Okay, so that gets really handy, especially if you combine that with the hide um, keyboard shortcut for example, so say you've got multiple columns here and you want to collapse one up, you can press shift H, open that up, and then if you hit return a couple of times, you're inside of that column, you can go up and down, you can toggle the inspector with the I key, and if you want to close that up, as I said, you press command H, you can go up a level or a couple of levels, shift H, and then use the up and down keys to go to the, to go to the other stacks uh, on your page. Okay, so putting this all together, if I wanted to switch pages, I would then open up the page list with command option L, go to another page if I had one, obviously you don't here, but then I would select that, close that out. Then if I needed a different stack from my library, I'd open up the stacks library, hit F, start searching for something, maybe I needed HTML, drag that in. Once it's in the page, I can then press L to close out the library and then I'm using the keyboard again to go into all of my stacks. So if I then want to work on this angle stack again, Shift H to open that up, and I can hit return a couple of times, Shift H again to open that, hit return, and I'm into the stack that I want to edit. 
And then once again, once you've finished editing that stack, shift return, go up a couple of levels, shift H, close that down and we're done. Then we can move on to the next section on our page. Okay, hopefully those keyboard shortcuts will come in handy for you. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.